Hello, my fellow parasites. Parasites, apologize! No. Anyway, welcome to season four of the Venom Vlog. This season we'll be covering Venom 2 movie news, more classic Venom and Carnage stories, the Spider-Man Maximum Venom animated series, and all comics involving Eugene Flash Thompson. So sit back and enjoy another exciting episode of The Venom Vlog. I'm Tom Hardy and you're watching The Venom Vlog. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of The Venom Vlog. And today we're actually just going to talk about how Sony doesn't appear to be going to Comic-Con this year, which makes sense. Uh, after a couple weeks ago, I think I saw Marvel and Warner Brothers both kind of drop out and say they weren't going to do anything. Warner Brothers, because they're going to do the DC fandom, uh, you know, event coming up, which is like a virtual event with all DC stuff. So DC will still have a presence there for comics. I think they're doing a couple panels, uh, one that's like in memory of Denny O'Neill, and then a couple other that are focused on DC comics and some things that might be coming up. So I'll probably cover those maybe uh, for Andy, and you'll see that stuff coming up soon. So whenever those panels drop uh, you'll I'll, I'll make a video you know telling you where you can find those things that I write up for Andy and, and his website and stuff so um, so yeah there's that is coming then I think uh, Disney said they weren't going I don't really remember why but I'm sure they got other plans and other ways to release things I think the main reason is because most of the movies that they talked about last year at Comic-Con still haven't come out yet you know so they're probably like well we don't really have anything major or new to talk about or do a panel on so there seems best for them I guess to just drop out so I figured Sony probably would too because if you look at these panels and I'll put a link down below to the schedule and you can go through day by day and see what schedule you know what's scheduled to be it's going to be all panels and they're going to just go up online and then also on that weekend they're going to have things that are going to go on sale that you can I think some of them you can pre-order now and some you can buy on those days and just buy them online you get them shipped to you so it's you know basically just something smaller more intimate something at home you can watch uh, the videos will go up on YouTube some of the panels will be timed so they might go up and only be available for 24 hours or maybe a little bit more than that and then other panels I think when they go up they're just going to stay up for a while and, and you'll probably be up uh, for the foreseeable future so uh, I don't know which panels are, are you know short term or long term we'll have to just wait and see what information comes out the only panel I'll be able to cover for you guys is Maximum Venom because I'm off that Thursday so any panels that happen that day I'll definitely cover them on that day and try to get those videos up to you guys as you know as soon as possible we might even watch the Maximum Venom panel live together if you want um, you know and I'll put a link to that in that video when, when it comes up and we'll just do a live stream and I'll have it on my TV and I'll have my headset on and I'll listen to it and talk to you guys about what they're talking about maybe we'll just do it as like a, a venom vlog live kind of episode so that could be fun um, but everything else that comes out information wise on the other panels i'll have to cover those because i have to work those days i'll have to cover those you know um, at, at other times when i get home from work and post those things up the following day or the day after so uh so yeah i'll be very busy that weekend for sure uh, but so yeah i figured sony might not make a presence because i was like well what's kind of the point you know like i guess they could maybe you know, get Jared Leto and the director, you know, fly them out together and, and to have them do a Zoom call together or something or, or not even have them meet up, but just have them be separate and do a Zoom call. I mean, that's kind of the quality of we're talking about. Some of these panelists might be in the same room. A lot of them may just be recorded Zoom calls that they put up, you know, with multi cameras that they put up and stuff like that. And so all these things are going to be pre-recorded and then uploaded to YouTube. And so uh, so nothing's going to really be live. They'll premiere live on YouTube, but they, you know, where they'll probably do live chats and stuff. But, uh, but they're not going to be answering questions. I think a lot of outlets are saying, hey, ask us your questions now because we're going to record this week or next week and get those videos up, um, you know, for Comic-Con. So, yeah, so Sony doesn't look like they're going to do anything there, which is which is fine. I mean, I think Sony for Venom 1, they went to Comic-Con for one day. It was a day I wasn't there, unfortunately. I was only able to go one day at Comic-Con that year, and I went the day before the, the Venom panel. Uh, but they showed, like, a little trailer there. So, um, but remember when they showed it, there was like people like talking about the description of the trailer, but the trailer officially didn't release online till like 10 days later on July 31st. So maybe there's a chance that the week after Comic-Con, when some of that panel news dies down and when all the stuff being talked about kind of fizzles out, maybe they'll, you know, announce something then or show like a Morbius trailer or, you know, a sneak peek at Venom. I, I thought it'd be cool if they did something where like, you know, Jared Leto came out, did like a quick little 
you know, intro to kind of address, you know, the world and you'd be like, hey, you know, I'm sorry the movie was supposed to be out by now and it hasn't been, but please be patient with us and to get your excitement and your, you know, your blood flowing, you know, or whatever, you make a dumb vampire pun if you want, be like, uh, you know, here's a clip from the movie, even if you don't show a trailer, but maybe like a two minute clip from the movie. Um, that could be fun and same with Venom, like that, that could be fun promotional materials to put up just to get people talking. But you know me, I mean, I'm not really anticipating anything Venom related. If, if it happens, I'll be a great surprise. Um, but I'm not really anticipating Venom, anything Venom related. I feel like they're going to still, they're still working on a movie remotely. I saw some people saying, oh, well, there was a trailer that was supposed to come out in February or March. And, you know, so they can just release that trailer. It's like, I, I don't know of any trailer that was cut uh, during that time for sure. I'm sure they were trying to work on one, but uh, I don't know concrete for sure that there was. So it's funny that these people online say that they're like oh yeah they they had a trailer it was ready i mean it leaked and you know in russia and stuff like that it's like well if you follow all that stuff you'll know that those are lies uh, you know posted by people on reddit and other places and uh, and that kind of stuff drives me nuts because then months later people remember that and they forget that it was a, a hoax and then they regurgitate it like it's real information it's like hey we didn't have anything con uh, concrete about venom 2 we don't know if there's a trailer uh there might be one now or they might be working on one now that'd be great so i'm always up to be optimistic but they haven't officially said anything and i follow trailer tracker you know and and they have posted nothing they're like hey we have no new updates studios are not reaching out to us they're not posting a time mark trailers or listing anything so as far as they're concerned and there ain't no news and so that makes me think maybe we won't get anything the weekend of comic-con i mean i'm sure some studios will still release trailers online just to be a part of the comic-con experience in some way some small way but uh but i you know I don't know. It's hard to say, but it would be cool to see like a little intro from Jared Leto that's like 30 seconds or a minute long to introduce a scene of the movie. Same with Tom, but I'm not counting on it. It would just be cool. It's like that would be my wish. So you guys let me know what your wish would be, uh, whether it's Comic-Con or a week or two after Comic-Con. Would, what would you like to see, you know, just in a, in a wishful thinking way, you know, obviously we want to temper expectations here. We don't want to, you know, put out false information or get people's hopes up or anything like that. That's not why we're here. We're not like other YouTube channels. We try to just be realistic about things, but still, you know, it's, there's a lot going on in the world and I'd love to see some positivity. So what would you guys like to see, you know, from the student from Sony, you know, during the weekend of Comic-Con, would you like to see a trailer, a scene from the movie, just a little video from Leto or Hardy? Like, you know, what, what would you like to see? I mean, we're not going to get it in a panel format but maybe we can get something small put out there later on just on the sony youtube channel or twitter pages or something like that or the venom movie pages on social media and stuff um or maybe andy circus will send a message out to fans or something like uh i don't know we'll see but it would be cool to see anything like that for me uh but that's my thoughts what would you guys like to see let me know in the comments below we'll continue our conversation down there and i will have some other videos coming up i'm going to try to bang out a couple today because i'm going to start work this week as, at least as far as i know i'm starting work this week uh, it's a day-by-day -day basis thing so uh so i have some interviews to record i have some other things i'm going to work on um i might have a review coming up for you guys just like a fun little eddie brock story from a spider-man magazine from the 90s uh, so we might talk about that coming up and uh, i might actually record that later today if i have time and uh and yeah we'll, we'll you know I'll try to get more parasite podcasts i'm a little behind on them i had to rearrange a couple of them in a different order because our friend eddie's mullet he is uh, about to be deployed he's in the military uh so that episode should have gone up already i moved him before lonely symbiote so now that his is up in a couple days you'll see lonely symbiotes and then i think uh swordsman and then uh Ven venom valor from uh twitter and then i should be caught up although i am recording maybe two, uh, one or two more over the next two weeks so i'll have uh, you know another two to share with you guys um in the near future so uh so yeah i'm still working on stuff still trying to stay busy and i hope you guys are doing well and everything and i know this is a bummer news that we don't have official sony stuff uh, announced right now but hopefully there's still some surprises coming up that'd be great I wouldn't count on it, but still, it's good to hope, right? And uh, and so I will never, you know, smash anyone for trying to to hope for, uh, you know, for for something uh, positive. And so uh, yeah, let's hope, right? So thank you guys for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.